Okay, here I have a very interesting limit question for you guys. Because we are not computing the limit, but rather we're trying to design a limit so that it has certain answer. Check this out. We want the limit as x approaching 0, and then here we have square root of ax plus b minus 3 over x. We want this to be 1 over 3. So the question is, what should a and b be? You know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, so let's see. This is how I do it, and feel free to share your approach down in the comment section. So, I like to have a good habit. Whenever we are doing limits, we should just bring the zero into all the x's and see what happens. So when we do that, we are going to get square root of a times zero and then plus b and then minus three over x is zero, right? And then this is equal to one over three. Okay, so that's just zero, but it's just square root of b and then minus three over 0 and this is equal to 1 over 3. Is this possible? We are dividing by 0 already. Wow! Doesn't define. No. Because here we are talking about limits. So the idea is that if we have a 0 on the bottom, don't panic. Because as long as the top also happens to be 0, then we have a 0 over 0 in determinant form. Then it could possibly equal to 1 third. So right here, we're not doing regular computation. This is the limit form, all right? So the idea is that we really want the top to be zero. That's how we can have a hope that this limit to be one third. If the top is not equal to zero, if you have one over zero, like so, and let's say you have a zero plus, this right here, it goes to past infinity. If you have one over zero minus, this right here goes to negative infinity. So these are the limit kind of things that you can draw conclusion. But when you have 0 over 0, see, the cat is saying that, no, it's indeterminate. But it's possible to be 1 third. So the best bet is that we are going to make this equal to 0. So that means square root of b minus 3 is equal to 0. So conclude that b is equal to 9. And again, remember, we are trying to design this limit so that the answer is 1 over 3 b has to be equal to 9 in order to have hope that this is going to happen. Alright, so now we have half of this question done. Let's just put 9 back to the question and then pretend that we are going to work it out normally and see what happens, alright? So here we have the limit as x approaching 0 and then we have square root and we still don't know. But then now the b is equal to 9 and then minus 3 over x. So let's look at this right here. Well, what do we usually do when we have a limit like this with square roots? We multiply the top and bottom by conjugate, right? So let's go ahead and give this a try. Especially now if you plug in 0 into here and here, we have the 0 over 0 situation. So we have to do more work. Anyway, let's go ahead and just multiply the conjugate, which is just this, square root of ax plus 9. I really don't like to have like 9 and a in the same question, but too bad. Anyway, ax plus 9 in the square root, and then minus 3 right here, right? So we will have to change that to uh, plus 3. And then do the same thing on the bottom. So yeah, again, we're just multiplying the top and bottom by the conjugate. Uh -huh. So now let's just go ahead and work this out. And usually we just need to work out the top because the bottom, you will see that the x is going to get cancelled really fast. Anyway, keep the bottom. We have x times the square root of ax plus 9 and then plus 3. But then for the top, this is like capital A minus B times capital A plus B. So it's the difference of two squares. We just had to square this, so we will get ax plus 9, right? Because the square square will cancel. And then minus this square, and 3 squared is equal to 9. Okay, check this out. Plus d9 minus 9 is equal to 0. After that, we have x on the top here and x on the bottom here, right? And this is 9 times... 
<laughs> this is a times x, so we can cancel this x and that x together. Cool. And then let's go ahead and plug in zero into this x. No more x on the top. So we will see that we will just get on the top is just a over, and then we will have square root, and then this is a times zero, and then plus nine, and then plus three. So this is what we have after we plug in x equal to 0. And don't forget that we want the result to be 1 third. So we are going to look at this and set this to be 1 third. Think about it with all this, we can actually just solve for a very nicely. Check this out. This is 0. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So we here we have a over 6, and that's equal to 1 third. So... <laughs> Not only they have 9 and 8 together, but they also have 6 and b together in this question. Anyway, multiply both sides by 6. Let me just write it down to, for my sanity. Multiply both sides by 6. So this is just a number we can cancel, and this is just an a. And we can reduce this. This is 6 over 2, which is just a 2. Done. So I will just box this for you guys right here. Ladies and gentlemen, a should be 2, and b should be 9. Alright, and let me know if you guys have other ways to do this. And if you guys want to see more calculus videos like this, check out my playlist or maybe calculus tutorial for your calculus class. Also check out my playlist or subscribe for my channel. That's it.